They say Cafe Four is Knoxville's hottest downtown dining and entertainment experience. And with so much offered at this popular destination spot, you'll agree. Cafe Four is overflowing with choices. You can choose to dine on traditional Southern comfort foods with a twist for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Or you can satisfy your gourmet pastry cravings at their bakery shop. Thirsty? Their mezzanine loft offers a great place to order a locally roasted coffee or choose from their abundant international wine selection. You can also order a microbrew. There are over 47 beers to choose from. As if that were not enough, the adjacent Square Room is a state-of-the-art performance venue. This really is community plus hospitality plus art. I'm here with Lori Clinaris, and she is the owner of Cafe Four. Wow, this is a great venue. You Thank have you. so much to offer here. Thank you. Tell me how you got started with this. Well, actually, I was recruited. There were some investors that were trying to um, reinvigorate uh, downtown, and we decided that the two things that really bring people to a place are entertainment and food, and so that thus Cafe Four and Square Room were invented. Oh yeah, well you picked a great spot and clearly it worked. Yeah. You've drawn people, I mean Market Square now is so popular. After Cafe Four opened is when Market Square started to grow and all the different restaurants. I think it kind of signaled to other investors that it was safe to come downtown and it's just been an amazing, amazing experience. So. Yeah, well in addition to offering so much, you offer some great food that has a lot of local influences. We do, we do. We really wanted to embrace the culture and the community. So a lot of our food is from local ingredients. Um, it has a southern flair, but it's mostly comfort food with a little bit of a twist. Well, and you, you have an advantage being close to the farmer's market right here. And yes. so I'm sure when it's in season... Well, you know, the farmer's market, Knoxville's farmer's market was voted second in the country. So it is wow. just expanded. And um, what our chef does is on Saturday mornings, he goes out, shops at the farmer's market, and that's how we decide our feature for the day. So it's as local as you get. Yeah. Well, and I read, too, it's kind of like... Comfort food plus hospitality plus entertainment, right? right. So you, you right. really do have this kind of urban retreat. Absolutely. And we have the mezzanine area. I don't know if you've been up there, mm -hmm. but that's kind of what our goal was to make that area kind of Knoxville's downtown uh, living room. So that place is for people to come, do work, have meetings, um, just visit. It's, it's literally there for the downtown area. Yeah. Well, and you guys open early. I mean, a lot of times a place that kind of has this more high end feel you would think of it more in the evenings, but what's great is you guys offer breakfast, so we not do. a lot of places at this level are doing that where they're open all day and you have brunch even on the weekends. Saturday and Sunday brunch, so we open at 7 a.m. You can come in, get a cup of coffee, a sandwich, go up to the mezzanine, relax. We have a lot of groups that have meetings up there, seven days a week, seven till 10 every day. Well, I'm excited to kind of look around and I think I'm gonna to get to talk to your pastry chef and your oh, executive yeah. chef. Oh that'd be so great, that'd be great. I'm They'll ready. you with your skills. <laughs> I'm excited. Although this place has all the bells and whistles, the food is really the southern bell of the ball. The standouts are endless. Their breakfast menu offers both healthy and hearty choices, like the granola parfait or the farmer scramble. Lunch and dinner dishes are loaded with comfort food fixins. There's the grilled cheese and tomato duet, which has a fried green tomato, pimento cheese, tomato jam, and country bacon. Or check out the Low Country Shrimp and Grits, made with andouille sausage, goat cheese, and Cajun cream sauce. Of course, that's just a smidgen of the fabulous food finds here. They have flatbreads, burgers, salads, and a mac and cheese bar? <laughs> Hold up, I need a closer look at that. So I'm here with Tyler Newton. He's the executive chef here at Cafe Four. And tell me, you've been here really since it opened, right, in 2008? I have, I've been, I was the, actually one of the opening sous chefs. Um, in 2008 and a very young me and quickly got overwhelmed and drowned <laughs> and uh, I've worked here since then and I took over as executive chef in August. Okay, so you've probably seen a lot of changes and just some things. I mean you have this southern comfort food with a twist but has it kind of morphed over time? It has evolved. I think um, at first with the opening chefs they had a tendency to want to really force the comfort part of it and I think over time it's, involved, it's kind of morphed into taking comfort foods from different parts of the world and sort of finding a way to integrate that into the southern viewpoint of comfort food. It's a very specific thing. Yeah, well, and, and actually I was reading like you have mac and cheese with like jalapenos. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great example. We take, um, mac and cheese is about a southern, as it comes, yeah. at least in my opinion. Um, <laughs> and we take sort of different things and add to that um, and to 
give them a fresh steak, but we have grilled chicken, jalapeno mac, which we'll be making. And the, um, we have a lobster mac and cheese, which is fantastic, French onion mac and cheese. So taking those different aspects of uh, other food culture and sort of trying to integrate it into the southern comfort, the soul food um, paradigm is what we do, here. we do pretty well. I bet. Well, I'm excited to see how it's made. Let's get cooking. Great. A mac and cheese bar. Yum. Coming up next, we're headed to another temptation. Pastries. Plus, we get to hear the musical genius of Knoxville local band, Sirius Sprite. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. Today, we're at Cafe 4 at the Marketplace Square in downtown Knoxville. We talked with owner Lori Clonaris about the abundance of choices here at what many call an urban retreat. After gorging on scrumptious southern dishes, we're headed over to the Cafe 4 bakery shop to sample some pastries. You know, being a local traveler is a pretty sweet gig. So I'm here with Janet Chambers and she is the pastry chef here at Cafe 4 and you get the fun job of eating treats all day, right? I do get the fun job of eating <laughs> treats, but uh, I don't eat all of them because I wouldn't be able to fit in the door. Right. So. <laughs> you offer a large variety of stuff. I mean, when I walked in, I was impressed because you go from breakfast all the way down to German chocolate cake. <laughs> we have it all here. Anything you could want for your sweet tooth, we have it. We have a variety of bars and cupcakes. We do a cake of the month, various kinds, and they're big and tall. Um, we started our French macaroons last year and that's been a big hit here in Knoxville. Well, and you do lots of events, I know. You, you of course, you have the seasonal things like Valentine's Day or, or whatever, but birthdays, um, weddings, things like that. We make birthday cakes, you know, people call ahead for birthday cakes. We have uh, the square room where we do a lot of wedding receptions and we cater to that and do the desserts and things um, for any event that we have. That's great. I'm excited to try one of these. <laughs> well, I have a butter bar here ready for you to try. <laughs> Yay! And um, I think you'll like it. I'm pretty sure you will. It's it's fattening and it's good. And <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and you gave me a nice hefty bar. I did hefty give you a nice here. hefty bar. <laughs> so That's I'm going to eat one too because All I didn't right. have breakfast this morning. That's right. It's this is my breakfast, breakfast, even though we do breakfast too. Oh my gosh. Seriously, that is so good. It reminds me a little bit of chess. Mm -hmm. Pie, it's kind of got that nice kind of creaminess gooey. and gooey but, and buttery. Now we need a big nice cup of coffee to go with it. I was going to say, man, this I could, I could do this for breakfast every day. As if the southern inspired dishes and high quality bakery items were not enough to draw you in, they also offer a special events and performance venue. The square room can be used for private events such as weddings, company dinners, gala fundraisers and conferences. It also happens to be what some locals call the best place to hear live music in downtown Knoxville. The intimate stage gives you a front row seat to connect with a myriad of musicians. They showcase everything from national acts to underground locals, and of course, Knoxville natives. I'm here with Megan Lang, and you are the intern here at the Market Square. And what's great is I get to really talk to somebody that knows about it from like the ground floor. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what's really going on. Tell me about the different bands that you book. I love the diversity here. Um, I think that one of the things we focus on is bringing in a lot of local acts. So we have people like Greg Adkins, Adam Whipple, who are both singer-songwriters here. Then we have bands, um, Maplehurst, Sirius Bright, Emmy Sunshine, she'll be here on Saturday. Um, just different groups that are very local and we're trying to support them. Well good, so yeah, you do kind of have this great collection of people and I think yeah. what I was reading about online that was so amazing is that people really feel like this is the best live music venue in downtown because they're always guaranteed to have a great musical experience. I would uh, definitely agree with that. One of the 
focus is for us is that this is a listening room. Um, so we really want to bring in quality acts and make it seem like an intimate performance, almost like you're sitting in the artist's living room, listening to them just play something new. Well, good. Well, and I, I know you mentioned Sirius Bright, and I'm so excited because we're going to get to talk with them, and they're here today, and we get to hear some of their music. They're wonderful, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy that. <laughs> Tyler Anthony and Evan Ford are the founding members of the band Sirius Bright. The band got its name after the serious desert flower that only blooms at night. They're a folk music band and deliver what they call real folk. Their music communicates real life through simple and melodic storytelling. Their songs are full of harmonies, passion, and authenticity. Today, we get the treat to hear them play at the Square Room. So I'm here with Evan Ford and Tyler Anthony, the members of Sirius Bright. And wow, I did some research. You guys, you're, you're kind of talented, I might say. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate you have that. two albums out, I noticed. Mm -hmm. And um, you can get that pretty much on iTunes and a bunch of different places. Yes, Spotify. Um, we have lots of things on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, all those things that most bands have. I love that you guys are really kind of storytellers and you really use your music to tell a story and that you're really folk musicians. I mean, I think that term has gotten kind of thrown around a lot lately, but you really are the definition of that. Well, thank you. I mean, it's fun being here in Knoxville, and there's so much of the folk music and the roots here in this place. And even though we didn't start off maybe personally playing folk, we kind of found this sound together. And like you said, as, as people kind of try to play folk more and more these days, it gets a little convoluted. And so we really are trying to protect the heart of what it is about and what it's trying to communicate and tell stories about real life and real things. Well, I'm excited to hear your music. You're going to be taking stage here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. we're going to share a couple songs. I'm really excited. excited. Can I bust out my lighter? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. The time seems right. Okay, okay. I'll wait. I'll wait till I move. <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, if she goes away, oh, what a shame that it would be. Another heart that I lost to you, Chattanooga let me be. Every time I find the light, I lose it in the black of night. Never really knew how far that love could let you down to. A one, two, three, four. After spending the day here, I have to agree, this is Knoxville's hottest downtown dining and entertainment experience. Southern food and hospitality, plus arguably the city's best live music scene, makes this a great destination spot. Make sure and add it to your local travelers list. Two. 